Hey everyone, it's Crafty Music Lover here, and today I'm going to be planning for June 28th through July 4th in my Good Habits Happy Planner. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the materials. So obviously because July 4th falls into that week, I'm going to be basing my entire spread off of Independence Day, 4th of July, and it's going to be red, white, and blue themed, I'm hoping. Um, I have a lot of stickers that I'm going to be pulling from the Summer Sticker Pack, um, but there's a couple of things in here that are 4th of July themed, like there's fireworks and just different kinds of items, so I'm going to be pulling from there. And then there's also some 4th of July items in the Seasonal Sticker Pack. I'm also going to be pulling a few things from the Party Like a Planner Girl sticker pack that I got from Michaels. It's by Capital Chic Designs. I've talked about this a little bit in some of my other Plan With Me videos, but it has just some little, um, little tiny girls that have different kinds of outfits on based on the different holidays. So I'm going to be using a few things from there. Of course, I have to have washi tape. So if I do decide that the page needs a little bit something, I do have these three washi tapes here. I believe I got these from Amazon. If I can find them, I will put them in the description box down below. As per usual with my Plan With Me videos, you guys know I don't particularly like the color scheme that the Good Habits Happy Planner has for some of my spreads, so I'm going to cover it up. I do have a couple of numbers and words that I'm going to be using for the days of the week. I pulled the days of the week from the Brights sticker pack here, and it is just uh, the red ones, I believe, is what I pulled. And then for the days of the week, I use a Christy Ann Designs stickers um, just for that. I covered all of that up with some white, just regular white computer paper that I cut into strips. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and actually cover up all of the numbers as well. I'm going to go ahead and start with the decoration. From the seasonal sticker pack, I have these two um, stickers here. This one says Sweet Land of Liberty. So I thought these would be nice to go on my sidebar area. So I think I'm going to put the Sweet Land of Liberty sticker right over where that... Um, July check-in box is the little circle and then to cover up this track daily progress sticker I'm just going to put this deco box right here I did pull a few things from some Dollar Tree sticker packs and that is where all of these little things came from. This specific box is from the summer sticker pack but it had the sandal um, little footprint things right here and I didn't really want that in the 4th of July spread so I covered it up with some Dollar Tree st firework stickers as well as this sticker here that says USA and I'm going to be putting this right underneath the Tuesday box here if I can get it in the first time straight that would be great okay also from the summer sticker pack were these two stickers here. This sticker is just a deco quote box that says, and at the end of the day, your feet should be dirty, your hair should be messy, and your eyes sparkling. And the reason I chose this one was because A, it was blue, and the sparkling it really made it sound like 4th of July to me. So I'm going to put this one over here on a Thursday, but I don't think I'm going to try and put this firework there. I don't know how it's going to look but we'll see. If it doesn't look good, it's just a sticker, so it's not like it's the end of the world. Um, maybe I don't want to cover up Friday, though. Maybe I could, like, lift Friday up. Hopefully. Okay. You know, that actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of like it. So I chose this deco box here. This was from the summer sticker pack as well. And it said relax up here and I didn't really want that there. So I decided to cover it up with this American flag that I got from a Dollar Tree sticker pack. And I'm going to set this deco box right here underneath on Thursday. I also have this sticker here that says Home of the Free and the Brave that I also got from the summer pack. And I'm going to put it right on the edge of the fourth, like that. This fireworks sticker I also got from the summer work sticker pack and it's just like a banner little, um, 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's a banner. And then I got these two girls from the Capital Chic Designs Party Like a Planner sticker book. Um, and I want to kind of make a small little mini scene down here on the 4th, um, just because I thought it would be a cute way to say like 4th of July. Um, so let's see how it looks. I also have this sticker here. This came from a Dollar Tree sticker pack, so I'm going to put that right in the center here. And I want these girls to be right on either side. Okay, I think that looks good, but I do want to move this sticker up just a hair. I think this one, actually, this checklist sticker came from the seasonal sticker pack, and then that's where I got this important one, and I already lined it up because I'm very bad at arranging things, and it had a little, um, like a little asterisk on there, but I decided to cover it up with a small little fireworks sticker from the Dollar Tree sticker pack, um, just because I felt like it would be really cute um, right there. I might have to white this little area out. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna need to white this little box here out. I'm going to put this somewhat close to the 4th of July scene, but also not too close. There we go. Um, that's crooked. I have some work stickers that I need to put down on the page. I'm just going to put, if I could get it right, I'm just going to put these stickers right here. Okay. There we go. And then this one's going to go right here. And then I want this one to go right here. I had to do a little bit of rearranging here, but I do like that a lot better. That way I have the days on the actual days that I'm working. Now I want to go ahead and put my video boxes on. So I have one coming out on Monday. So I'm going to put one of these right here. Then I have one coming out on Wednesday. And then I have one coming out on Saturday, but um, I'm going to put it on Sunday just because there's going to be room for me to write right here. So I'm going to put the Sunday's box or Saturday's box on Sunday over here. I feel like there's a lot of red and blue going on, so I don't know if I want to use red and blue washi, so I'm going to try this silver and see if that works. It might be a flop, but we will find out. Okay, so after a lot of figuring out, I ended up putting some of this blue washi tape. This is from that 40 pack that I always mention in like almost every single one of my planner videos. Um, but I ended up just stacking the colors and cutting this a little bit smaller. So I think I'm going to try and see how some washi tape looks across the bottom. If not, we'll just leave it how it is and just stop there. I fixed everything. I added some more of this silver up at the top and I, I do think it probably would have been okay without the washi but I like it. All I have to do is add my stamping and I think this spread will be done. concludes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I decorated my spread for 4th of July. Let me know what your favorite 4th of July traditions are or if you have any. Do you celebrate Independence Day? Do you kind of just 
have it as a normal holiday. What do you guys like to do? So if you guys have any fun traditions, anything you'd like to share, I would love to catch up with you guys in the comments section down below. If you are new here, I do have a lot of other content that I post rather than just planner videos. So I do polymer clay and art prompt journal videos as well. So if you guys would like to see all of those, definitely check the description box down below uh, for different playlists. Once again, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time, craft on. Bye guys!